Let's look at calculating angular diameter distance or linear diameter given the other two. In this case, we want to find the linear diameter. We want to find the linear diameter of the moon as viewed from Earth given that the average distance from the Earth to the moon is 384,400 kilometers and the average angular diameter of the moon as measured from Earth is about a half a degree. So we have two quantities here that are given. The first quantity that we are given is 384,400 kilometers, which is the average distance to the moon. The second quantity we are given is an angular measure of a half a degree, which is the angular diameter. So somebody went outside and measured the angular diameter of the moon and wrote it down as a half a degree. Now our find is we want to find the linear diameter of the moon. So now we need to choose the correct equation and solve the problem. The equation we want to use is 1c because we are given a unit of a half a degree. So therefore we want to find the equation where alpha is given in terms of degrees. So we choose this equation 1c and now we need to substitute. So on the left side of the equation we are given a half a degree so we're going to substitute the numerator in as a half a degree and we're going to leave the denominator alone as 57.3 degrees per radian. On the right hand side we're solving for linear diameter so we need to substitute in for distance of 384400 kilometers. Now we need to apply some algebra. We need to multiply both sides of the equation by 384400 kilometers and solve for linear diameter. So if we multiply both sides by 384400 we can see the right hand side is going to cancel out and we're going to be left with linear diameter and all the rest will be on the opposite side of the equation. So let's do that. So now you can see we've done that. We put linear diameter over on its own side and we keep the rest the same, a half a degree times 57, half a degree divided by 57.3 degree per radian. And we're going to multiply that by 384400 kilometers. Now we need to multiply and cancel units. So notice that degree is going to cancel out. And we're going to be left with radians. And since radians is in the denominator of the 57.3, which is in the denominator of the equation on the right hand side, radians is going to move to the top. But now we need to divide a half divided by 57.3. So let's go to Google Calculator. So here we are at the Google Calculator and we needed to put in 0 0.5 and divide that by 57.3. And we're going to get an answer of 0 0.008726. So here we have our 0 0.008726 eight seven two six radians because degrees canceled out radians kicked to the top so we have radians and we're going to keep the right the same multiply by three eight four four zero zero kilometers now let's multiply this onto google calculator we have to multiply our point zero zero eight seven two six by three eight four four zero zero so we have to multiply by three eight four four zero zero and we're going to get a number of three three five four so we have our final answer of the linear diameter is 3,354 kilometers. Now let's compare that with the actual diameter of the moon that is measured by a different technique. And we get a value of 3,470 kilometers. How come we're not more accurate? And the reason being is because in the derivation of this equation, we use the small angle approximation, which is assuming that the angle that you're going to be observing the object is extremely small, such as an arc second or an arc minute. But we're measuring in degrees because the moon is so close to us. So therefore, since the object is so close to us, we're not going to be as accurate in our result because we assume the small angle approximation, which is valid for very small angles, such as arc seconds and even arc minutes. So the further the object is away from the Earth, the better our technique of using this equation. So for nearby stars, this would be a valid and good technique to find either the linear diameter or the distance given the other quantity.